All right, I'm back today with some 3D printed containers. Um, this is one of the first things I printed. It's, it's a fun little fire extinguisher container. I don't know why I printed it. I just <laughs> like the look of it. And that's kind of how 3D printing goes sometimes. You're like, huh, yeah, I wonder what that looks like in person. First, let's start with this little guy here. Just a little tiny blue container. Um, I've actually printed several of these in different sizes. I've got some really tall ones for my wife's knitting and crocheting needles and hooks. And yeah, you just got a little screw top here, a lot of threads. And then inside we have, and then inside we have today's sponsor. I've talked about these guys on the channel before. This is my Ultra Human Ring. It's the Ultra Human Ring Air. It's, it's a fun little ring. You know, it monitors your sleep, uh, activity, heart rate, metabolic health. It's titanium. It helps you track your sleep cycles. So you can improve your recovery and injury levels. Like I love the sleep tracking on it. Well, I love all the tracking on it. And what really impresses me is the battery life. I think I charge this thing every five or six days. Yeah, I love it. I'll have a link to the description, or I'll have a link to this in the description and the sticky comment. Uh, there's a discount code down there and a coupon code, whatever, you know, and a link that'll give you 10% off. I really love this thing. But let's get back to the containers. So we'll take a look at the fire hydrant here. Like, isn't that so cool? It's a fun little, I mean, you could scale this up as big as you wanted. Um, I actually scaled it down a bunch, I think, and to the limits of your printer. Uh, I printed this on the A1, I believe. Yeah, this was before I had the X1C. So I printed this on the Bamboo A1, and I was just, you know, messing around, had a little bit of red filament left, and that was that. Let's get that out of the way. Then I printed this one uh, a little bit later. Uh, it's just this fun little thing, and I'll have links to all of these in the description. Um, I think these are all from Bamboo's maker site. Now, this one, I will tell you, you want to lubricate this a little before you put it on because it was tight. I just put a little bit of the same grease that I use on the A1 and that I use on the screws on my X1C. And I just worked that in there a few times, you know, and it's a lot better. Uh, there was a little bit of, of cleanup I had to do in the threads. You can kind of see that there. It's still a little ugly, but... Once I got the silicone in there and it kind of loosened up. And again, I think I scaled this one down a bunch. Um, I was just testing this bone filament. I believe this is from a Canadian company. This bone filament's no longer made. I have one spool of it left. So, sorry, I can't link it to you because it's not for sale anymore. They just do kind of limited runs. It's not my favorite bone either. There's better ones out there, but it was pretty cool. It was my first bone filament. I just love that thing. Like, isn't that like fun? So fun. Now, the Oreo. I love this thing. But I will tell you, if you do it the size that the file is, um, it should be fine. I made it bigger, and I didn't think. I didn't realize that the cream sticks out a little bit farther than the cookie. So I made the cookie fill the fit the build plate for my X1C and I printed both cookies and then I put the cream on at the same scale and it didn't fit. Fortunately, I have that uh, Neptune out in the garage and I just went out there and printed it on it and it printed all right. Uh, it's not quite the same quality as the X1C print, but do keep that in mind that if you print this, that this is slightly larger than this. So base your scale on the cream. And then, yeah, I'm going to unscrew this off camera because it's kind of hard to grab onto being a kind of flat cookie there. You can hear all the threads. And there you go. Nice little container you can keep. Uh, you could probably fit some Oreos in there if you really wanted. Now, I will show you where I messed up here. I got a little overzealous with the torch and got a little too hot on one side. So it is a little shiny, but that's the torch's fault, not the printer's fault. This one, I uh, dialed it in a little bit better, but it's still got a little bit of shine on it. Um, now I use these on the textured PEI plate. I would be curious to go do this again when I have the chance with uh, Bamboo's new smooth plate that's out. Um, I have a video up about that. It's, it's a cold plate. So it, it, yeah, it, it's much smoother in texture than this. Um, PI textured plate. So that'd probably look a little bit better. Now you do see some of the print lines there. Um, not showing up on camera as well, but in person it's really obvious, especially on, I think this side. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, you can kind of see them in here. So you could probably try something. Um, I don't think I did smoothing or anything. I just went for it and wanted to see what it would turn out like. But I love this thing. Like, I love Oreos. And it just makes me want Oreos every time I see it. Uh, you, you can make all kinds of fun containers. That's kind of the wonders of 3D printing, the joys. There, there's always something neat out there. And, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna use any of these for, but I've also printed like um, a container for my GoPros. It was real nice, it's in the bamboo maker uh, area. Uh, website, I can never remember the name of it, gosh dang it. But you could do that, or I printed, uh, you know, containers for my hot ends for the A1, and I need to do it for my X1C because I've got three or four hot ends for it now. And, you know, just whatever you can imagine, pill cases or or uh, cases for sewing needles or it, anything. I love 3D printing. I love containers. Um, what snack stuff have you printed? Let me know in the comments. I, I'm curious. I'm a big Oreo freak. Uh, by Oreo Freak, I mean, I used to go to my friend's house in, I don't know, middle school, junior high age, maybe even a little older, and I would take the Red Lobster Lighthouse glasses they had, and I would fill them with Oreos, and then I would pour a bunch of milk in, and I would put it in the refrigerator, and I'd let that sit for like two hours, and the cookie would kind of dissolve, and you could come back and like drink the cookie, which I don't recommend because it was horrible on your throat, but it tasted amazing, and you could eat the cream out with the a proper teaspoon, you know, the long teaspoons. So I'm a bit of an Oreo freak, but I'd love to know what snacks you guys are printing. Uh, I will see you in the next video.